Today I'd like to share with you an exciting insight I've had as to the ideal method of correcting and redirecting the mind. This technique, which is beautiful in its simplicity and magnificent in its ease and effectiveness, can be used either in circumstances when you have negative automatic thoughts or imaginings that you'd rather not have, or when you're trying to change your behaviour but the habitual thought patterns are getting in the way of your new goals. So let's imagine some circumstances when this technique would be useful. It could be someone who has negative self-speak. So when they're trying to do things, they say phrases to themselves which are counterproductive. They tell themselves they can't do this or that they're worthless or, or worse. It could be someone who has a negative vision of the future and just keeps picturing things going wrong. Or even someone who has imaginings which are horrific or worrying that appear in their mind's eye without them wanting them to. We could also imagine this technique could be useful for someone who wants to do something different in their life but keeps visualising thoughts which are the opposite to what they're doing. Maybe someone who's trying to lose weight but keeps thinking about the food that they, uh, they would rather be eating. This technique works for all these circumstances. And it's a, a change from the more popular methods which recommend that you, you actually make adjustments to the negative thoughts themselves. So many authorities recommend that you change that thought. So if you have a, a negative phrase you're saying to yourself, that you change the tone of voice. So you can change that tone of voice to a more positive tone or disempower it by making it more silly. Often you'll get advice that tells you that you should picture something more positively. You should slowly change that imagining that you're trying to get rid of to something really great. I found that these methods are really effective and they're very positive, but they take up a lot of energy and they require a lot of willpower. What I've found is more effective and brings effortless success is to use a different sense. So if you are suffering from negative self-speak, you could feel yourself full of a feeling of success. Imagine that feeling. Or you could visualise beautifully how things are going to go. Likewise, if you're having negative images come in your mind, you don't want to fight that straight on. You want to take that energy and redirect it into an affirmation. So if you're worrying about your health and you have images of some health risk coming to your mind's eye, for example, you could change that to an affirmation that says, I'm completely healthy. This technique is extremely effective and it's important to let go of the original negative stimuli or automatic thought and to dwell on the new one. Then, just let go and carry on with your life. If you find the counterproductive thought appears, correct it again, and make sure you enjoy the correction far more than you are concerned about the original negative thought. I've also found that this holds true to helping others. So, if someone is having um, a hard time with something in their mind, look for what sense they're using and make sure you move them out of that sense. So this could be using visualisation, affirmations, imagining a feeling, this kind of thing, but it also could be in, in a practical way. If someone has a, a worrying feeling in their body, Rather than offering to rub their shoulders, make them a cup of tea or put on something uplifting on the television or put some nice music on. 
If someone is caught in an image, they've seen something horrific, then that's a good time to talk them down. Put on a calming tone um, and talk in a very calming way using audio rather than visual terms. This way, I believe you take the negative force and you can transform it without going to battle with it. Often people, particularly if they're in a, a state of shock or tiredness, can get so caught up in the, the hardship, the negative vision or the negative thought pattern, that any interaction with it just leads deeper into that circumstance. This technique I've found to be extremely effective myself. Try it and please tell me if it works as well for you.